You look okay. You look okay. Am I all right? Yeah. I got a haircut. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for getting the haircut. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> and I shaved. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew you were going to say something about that. And this is because of squirrel season coming up. So oh. anytime, anytime hunting season comes up, I always grow a beard. Oh, the squirrels don't yeah. recognize you then. Yeah, huh? that's right. <laughs> I'm Riveru Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. You know one thing, when I buy a, um, anything, it doesn't matter if it's a rifle or any product, I always want good service. And uh, I think everybody out there um, wants good service too. And I'll tell you what, Jeff, I called your uh, company and it's, uh, it's the name of this um, manufacturer is Delton. And I was really impressed. I, I talked to a representative there and it wasn't one of these phone calls where I made and they, they had like an automated service. Right where they put you on hold forever. You talk to a person. Yeah, and yeah. actually a person talked to me, actually. He answered the phone, his name was Josh, and he was very helpful, and I told him, that, you know, I hadn't bought a gun from him, but I said I was calling for a friend, and my friend needed a uh, owner's manual. He, he lost his owner, owner's manual somewhere, and he needed a replacement. And this guy was very helpful. He even looked up your name, and um, he couldn't find your name for some reason because there was a lot of uh, Jeffs uh -huh. for some reason. But anyway, he said, he said, I'll tell you what, I'll take your address and I'll send it to you. Because I was going to have him send it to you, but he said, I can just send it to you, which I thought was very, very nice of yep. him to do that. So I appreciate that. But, you know, this, this video is about um, if you're going to buy an AR on a budget, this would probably be something that you would want to consider is this this particular AR right here. And I'm going to let Jeff, um, before we dive into the owner's manual and everything, I'm going to let Jeff tell you a little bit about his gun. Yeah, it's, um, it's lightweight. It's very accurate. I've been real pleased with shooting it. Um, I got this eight years ago. And, uh, and I was on a budget. I, I had to be careful what I was spending on what back then I was considering a luxury item, something I, I wanted and I needed and I could use, but I didn't want to get the, I would have liked the highest end, of course, but I, I had a budget and I had to try to stick to it. And uh, if I recall correctly, eight years ago, this was seven twenty nine, and uh, And I said, well, I can... I can handle that the 729 and and I was a little concerned when I got it I thought geez what am I gonna get for 729 and what I got was I think a very well-made weapon it's a quality gun quality right? gun. quality yeah. gun. so you know for the money you can't beat it I've never had a problem with it uh -uh. you know like they have a tight budget they have to stick to and everything so when I think, unfortunately, when I think sometimes, because I know I did, I reacted that way. When people hear the word budget, they think cheap. This is not a cheap gun. This is a, a well-made weapon. Um, shoots great. I mean, I mean, reliable. Everything about it is good. It's, it's well-made, and it's made here in the United States. I know we shot this in uh, a previous video that we did here on the channel, and it shot well. Yeah. I think the only thing that uh, we had an issue with, and, um, and that was um, loading or inserting the magazine with a closed bolt. And since we've done another video on the SHTF um, um, scenario, we want to be careful. Uh, we want to follow the uh, manufactured suggested way of inserting a magazine, and that way it's properly seated. And also, you're, you're not going to have uh, an issue with not having one not go into, cha go into the chamber. Um, but anyway, um, why don't you describe what was happening when you inserted the magazine with the bolt closed? Uh, yeah, because uh, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, loading into the chamber, and uh, of course... And you're a strong guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I'm 
pretty you don't strong. need to go to the gym I, well i need to go to the gym but i'm still pretty strong <laughs> <laughs> we had a viewer say about our last video yeah, that, that we, we did both Jeff, need to go to the gym. we both need to go to the gym so. <laughs> uh, but yeah it wasn't it, it wasn't feeding the bullet in and and of course my first round we go click nothing would happen um, and, and this happened like half a dozen times. Yeah, didn't yeah. It? And, yeah, you know, it's like we think I'd catch on after that, but um, anyway, then once you got the manual, the manual's very explicit that it wants you to load it with the uh, with a bolt open. Yep. And uh, it's designed that way. Uh, and then once it's inserted, you close the bolt. It's in the chamber. It seats better when the bolt's open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 the magazine catch latches right on it. I had a viewer uh, write to me and say that uh, he's never heard of a bolt being uh, broken uh, by inserting it with the bolt closed. Well, I didn't mean a bolt could be broken, but there's all these little tiny parts, and we'll go over that in the owner's manual here. There's all these little tiny parts with extreme abuse they just they just start to crack and break and and right. in an shtf scenario um you want to be as as careful as you can when you're inserting the magazine and, and be you know easy go easy on the the bolt carriage group as best you can because these about five thousand rounds you can fire these before you have to start checking for things and making sure everything's okay and not gonna you know, if there's like stress cracks that could come up, you know, you got to be aware sure. of that. And I always recommend getting an extra bolt carrier group anyway, especially for an SHTF scenario. And uh, I really like the LMT, uh, Lewis Machine uh, Company that makes uh, bolt carriage groups. They're very well known for durable and reliable uh, bolt carriage groups. Um, but anyway, that would be a nice spare to have uh, for an SHTF scenario. But you know, let's let's go ahead and um, get into the uh, owner's manual, Jeff, and briefly go over it. And one thing I did read this um, uh, from front to back here, and one thing I was really um, impressed with was that they had a section. They always have a section on safety. And, and it's a lot of times, you know, there's a lot of times where I notice that a lot of people, when I'm um, out at different gun ranges and they want you to look at their gun and they hand it to you and they don't hand it to you in the right way. Now you, today you handed me a pistol in the right way. I noticed that. And, uh, and it's the way you want to hand, if you want someone to look at your gun and they go over this, and this is the first owner's manual I have read where they actually go over that step, okay, that important step when you hand a, a firearm to somebody to look at. And you always want to have the action open when you hand it to somebody, whether it's a handgun, rifle, or a shotgun. You never hand it to somebody with it closed, uh, like a closed bolt or anything like that. So I was very impressed that they included that in this manual here. Yep. But And then it has an, another thing, and, and it's... These are the commonly replaced parts, and it's on the very last page in the owner's manual. And it's just what I've been talking about. At the top of the list is the extractor on the bolt carriage group. Yep. Okay. And then it has the extractor spring uh, with insert. Okay, so then the gas rings, firing pin. So all those gives you the list that, you know, that we should be aware that those are the parts that fail first right. are, is on the bolt carriage group and that's why I really recommend if you're not into a scenario where you have to do tack loading uh, try to avoid tack loading you know if all possible especially if you're in an SHTF scenario so we want to load the mag we want to insert the magazine with the bolt open that way it properly seats and also we're taking care of our bolt carriage group okay and it should last longer than 5,000 rounds for sure but and also now let's go back to how we load how we insert it this manual the Colt manual and this other Colt manual on the sporting rifle the SP1 all say the same thing when inserting the magazine carriage okay. open yep the only one that I did not find to be the same one and that is our AK-47 okay 
Uh, the AK-47 should be included in your SHTF scenario arsenal, okay? It doesn't matter. Usually the bolt is always closed on these. There's there's one AK-47 out there that has, um, I think it's the Yugo um, AK-47, and it, it has bolt open on the last shot fired, okay? That would be the only time that you'd probably want to insert that one with the bolt open too. But the rest of the AK-47s, you can insert the magazine with the bolt closed, okay? Because it actually, when you pull the charging handle back on the AK-47, you're actually stripping the cartridge out from the magazine as the um, charging handle goes forward, and then it inserts it into the chamber, okay? So that's the only, that's the only um, um, manual, owner's manual, that I found that you didn't have to insert the magazine with the bolt Interesting. open. Interesting, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, but all the other ones, all the other ARs, it's, it all seems to be the same. We're gonna do something different a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna really concentrate on inserting the magazine with the bolt open. Right. And, and I'll do a comparison here in this video, how if you insert it with the bolt closed, what happens you get a click sometimes sometimes that when you pull the charging handle back it doesn't actually strip it off the top of the magazine right so today we're going to do um, inserting the magazine with the bolt open all the way and I don't think we'll have any problems at all do you? all right nope I don't think so, so. where are we set up at here Jeff 50 oh, yards 50 yards yeah yeah and we yeah. got it we got a we got a pink target down there today. A pink target. A pink target. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I forgot my pink ammo, but that's all right. <laughs> Turn the gauge on here. See what kind of pull we got. Six point one. Six point one. We're on fire, we're ready to go. Uh, if you remember the last time we shot this gun, we had some problems with the magazine, but none today because we loaded it according to the manufacturer's recommendation with the bolt open uh, and everything just worked very smoothly. Um, now the question is, how accurate is it? Let's take a look. 11 rounds, nine of them are in the bullseye and uh, obviously Two of them are operator error, <laughs> but that's that's pretty good. That's good. It's an accurate weapon. This is 50 yards, um, and and I have to tell you, there's something a little bit different about this. I I, I shoot this with a, a handicap. My length of pull is almost 17 inches. I've got very long arms, and this is about 12. So when I'm holding it, I'm really not as comfortable as I would like to be, but that's not the weapon's fault, that's just my build. But considering that I'm really not comfortable holding it, this is incredible accuracy, incredible accuracy. 
Um, hope that you've all enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. And um, uh, if you didn't like it, tell Rivers. <laughs> okay. <laughs>